Mental model of a black hole using a sponge. Pinching the sponge. When you pinch the sponge, you're essentially compressing or warping that part of space-time. The grid lines near the pinch point will become increasingly dense, almost as if they're being sucked into the pinch. This is analogous to the immense gravitational pull of a black hole, which warps the space-time around it. Grid on the sponge. The grid you've drawn on the sponge will start to deform near the pinch point. Lines that were once straight will now curve towards the pinch. This represents how the paths of objects, including light, will curve when they come close to a black hole due to the warping of space-time. Inside the sponge. Now, consider what happens inside the sponge when you pinch it. The internal structure gets compressed and becomes almost impenetrable. In the context of a black hole, this is similar to the idea of the singularity, a point of infinite density at the center of the black hole where the laws of physics as we know them break down. Event Horizon The outer layer of the sponge where the pinching starts to have a noticeable effect can be thought of as the event horizon of a black hole. Once you cross this boundary, there's no going back, you're inevitably pulled towards the singularity. By using the sponge analogy, you can visualize the complex and abstract concept of a black hole in a more tangible way. The warping of the grid lines helps you understand how a black hole affects not just objects but the very fabric of space-time itself.